getting started someone has feelings for you immediately is coming through someone has feelings for you and wants to offer you something they want to offer you their cup they want to come in because they have feelings for you they want a new beginning they want a fresh start with you it's almost like they want to start over okay so this person is feeling guarded towards you and the reason they're feeling guarded towards you is because you're strong and you're happy so that usually isn't good but let's keep going so also they're seeing something and i don't know exactly what this is but they're seeing something and this is making them want to come in shooting like fast they want to come in now because they're anxious that you're happy why is that i don't know we're gonna find out but they're anxious that you are happy they feel left out in the cold they feel like they're looking in a window looking at you being happy and dancing around without giving two shits about them and they want to come in and offer you this fresh start they feel so regretful over something and this is what is making them want to come in the most they feel like they have an immense amount of emotions towards you and they really want to share this with you they want to tell you about this um, they see you as their stability they feel like they could be happy with you stable with you they feel like this would work out hands down and I feel like that's what's making them feel burdened because I feel like this person might have chose someone else over you and I feel like because of that they want to give you justice and they're not happy with their decision at all in the least bit so they want to come towards you but they know there's a chance that you could potentially not answer them not want to work on this go off on them or basically keep it ended keep it done there's a chance that you might not want to work on this or you just don't in general and this is causing them to feel heartbroken because let's be real in reality they feel like they can't get any better than you you are the absolute best you are their absolute wish fulfillment and just the best in general and they feel like anyone would be stupid to let this down aka them so yeah they feel like they haven't spoken to you haven't seen you in a bit and that bothers them they feel like you're a very stable person they feel like you have money and if you don't they see you as someone who's very stable okay and they're holding on to you possessively so definitely holding on to you but what they're really holding on to is like i said the fact that they don't know how you're re gonna react if you're gonna react if you're gonna be even open to working on this they're definitely feeling nostalgic they're thinking of all these memories with you even if it's just a few they're thinking back on commu um not communication what what is the word like they're thinking back on conversations you had and it's making them feel conflicted because they really want to come in and offer you something and they feel like for the longest time they didn't make a decision on you they kept their options open they worked on things with other options and they want to communicate because they feel like you've healed from this they feel like you're even if you're not they feel like you've healed you're done you're not even thinking twice about them and they feel stupid they feel like how could i have chose these options over this person like maybe they thought that you would chase them or they thought that you would care more than they think you do and that's bothering them because they're coming to this harsh reality or realization that they feel like you don't care i don't know why but they you could not or you do but they feel like you don't now guess what they feel juggled they feel like you have other options and they feel like you're not going to make a decision on them or you're not making a decision on them so they're using their intuition that either you are ignoring them or there's a possibility that you can ignoring them that you can ignore them and that is causing them to feel very upset and just not okay so they feel like they told you they were going to work on this with you they wanted to make things happen and then they snuck lied and ended this they snuck and ended this to go for someone they thought that was a shiny and pretty and just it was all materialistic shit they went for it took their time with you didn't make an offer to you or like they didn't make a decision on you and now they're very defensive towards them making that decision and obsessive obsessing over the fact that they did not make a decision on you beating themselves up over this they're not happy that they made that decision. They're sick that they can't go back and freaking undo that. They're freaking very upset that they left you. Very defensive that they left you. And they're, they're mad. They're mad. Because guess what? Now they feel stuck. Now they can't even focus at work. They can't focus on a damn thing. 
So now, who did they end up hurting? Mm, mostly themselves. So they want to offer you something because they're getting this mental clarity that they want to balance things out. They want to make things work with you. This is what they want. Now, now they want a commitment with you. Now they want wishful, they want their wish fulfillment, which is you. Okay? I'm going to get some advice for you. Some advice regarding this situation. Okay, what is some advice regarding the situation? Okay, some advice. Okay, so you're going to be happy be staying committed to leaving this person out in the cold. That's going to bring you your wish fulfillment, your happiness, period. Okay, and I feel like it might make you feel a little bit burdened to completely ignore this person and leave this person out in the cold. Because at one point, this person, you thought this was going to work out. Also, you're going to be getting a new lover that's coming in and you guys are going to be celebrating, jumping for joy, basically, like just happy, happy. And guess what? This is your justice. This is your justice for staying strong throughout this, even though you were feeling hurt at one point. So your advice is, um, this when this person comes in, they're very sneaky, they're deceitful, and when they come in, you might feel a little tempted or just feel a little bit burdened or conflicted over, you know, should I answer? And it's like, yeah, your advice is to keep this done because this person is going to come in. And if they already did, they're coming in again because they're very confused and they want to speak to you. They want to communicate. They want to talk face to face. Also, if you let this person in, you will just be stuck in a state of confusion and feeling guarded because... I feel like you really want to be happy. You want to go towards your happiness. And if you were to go back towards this person, you would see that you had to heal all over again and you would be pissed. So it's like, realize it now. Realize it now. Also, you need to understand your worth, okay? Understand that you are worth so much and this person is just gonna bring you down. So that's what I'm getting. You're, yeah, and also when this person comes in to work on things with you, it's not the biggest offer anyway. So, yeah, it's not like they're coming in completely changed to offer you the world. It's not that at all. So your advice is to keep it done. And also, this person is just not going to make a decision on you and keep juggling you. So, yes, keep it over. They're just going to break your heart again. So don't talk to them at all. I do feel like you might be holding on to the fact if they are going to come in again. And... I feel like you're a bit defensive if they're going to come in again and the answer is yes they are because they're in this extreme regretful mode of obsession because they left you so they feel stuck until you they're going to feel stuck until you answer until you give them the answer they want period yeah they want to offer you a relationship friendship and they want to balance things out and it's really causing them anxiety that this isn't balanced out or it didn't end in the best way so yeah ignore this person especially be, when they come in be, be listen how do i say this i feel like you need to ignore this person right but if any of you let this person back in and they try to have sex with you like i'm telling you you need to ignore this person because you're going towards stability and you don't want this person to mess that up at all so cards advice is to ignore 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 so that's what i got